lots of excitement in the skies. Hey. Also may see the northern lights yeah. tonight well, and tomorrow night. Remember back in May, we had that spectacular show. Right. Mm -hmm. Probably won't be as bright and okay. cool as that, but it is possible over the next couple nights that we catch some of that here, and especially out of the city, away from the city lights. Notice that red thin view line dipping down into Chicago, especially tomorrow night. Now, of course, this all depends on the weather, so let me peel back the curtains for a moment and show you what is a very challenging weather pattern to predict. These are some technical discussions that I don't usually show you, but we read every day from the National Weather Service behind the scenes. Here's the local office. Today, large uncertainty in the forecast. Also, a complex and challenging forecast period awaits. From the Storm Prediction Center, who issues severe weather outlooks, a very challenging meteorological setup with highly variable model guidance. So, what's going to happen? Let me show you what we think happens. The big storm conveyor belt is positioned just to our south, blowing down some power lines and trees earlier this morning. Thankfully not here, but down in central and southern parts of the state. Where the storms follow that conveyor belt is controlled by a big heat dome that we've been talking about all week down in the southern plains. And projecting this forward, the heat dome expands our way a little bit, and that is going to move the highway of storms into our area starting tonight. It won't be a washout for the next few days, but these periods of storms will be moving through at times, and we've got a pretty good idea on when the next one arrives. Not today. Hot and humid under partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a sweaty one, but it will not be umbrella weather until during the overnight hours. Even at 10 p.m., it's still pretty quiet, but here comes that next complex. Strong to severe storms blasting into DeKalb County by 2 a.m. Chicago, these may wake you up with some loud rain, thunder, and lightning at 3, 4 a.m. 5 o'clock tomorrow morning morning. They're racing through northwest Indiana. Then if they don't wake you up, you may not believe that they happened by rush hour tomorrow. They are gone and tomorrow looks like largely a dry and hot day before the next couple rounds come likely during the day Thursday and Friday morning. Severe storm threat. It's not alarming luckily, but it is one out of five locally two out of five down in parts of LaSalle County wind damage as we so frequently see with this setup the most pressing concern. So today hot and humid. It is possible that our southern counties get clipped by a complex of storms this afternoon, but it's unlikely, especially in Chicago, 91 degrees feeling hotter tonight. Thunderstorms likely some of them severe with a low temperature of 73. So the daytimes today and tomorrow between that sandwich of nighttime storms largely dry Thursday and Friday. A couple more rounds of storms. The timing on those, of course, yet to be nailed down in the next couple days. This weekend, if you're heading out to Lala or something else outdoors, 90 and dry on Saturday, a little cooler for concert goers by the lake but a slight chance of rain returns and temperatures cool slightly by the beginning of next week.